<laughs> You're welcome to stay alive. And today, actually, the 9th, the 10th of March 2022, is World Kidney Day. And it's quite unfortunate that we talk about kidney health, we talk about kidney failure more like once a year. So it's World Kidney Day. We talk about it today and then um, we don't talk about it again until the next year when we are celebrating the World Kidney Day. It's very quite unfortunate. But today we're going to have a discussion with a kidney biologist and we're going to learn a lot about the kidney. We're going to learn a lot about its failures and the health in general. And at a point in time, we're going to open up the phone line. So whatever question you have concerning kidney health, they are welcome. You can call us once the phone lines are activated at a point in time in the conversation. Our WhatsApp number is also active. It's right there on your screen. You can also get that and then you can send your messages coming through and share your your thoughts as well uh, as the conversation goes. Uh, we're also active on all our media platforms. On Facebook, it's HSTV Live, and on Instagram, it's HSTV GH Live. You can also head on there to the Facebook comment section and drop your comments, your suggestions, your contributions, your questions, and we'll be glad to read them on the show. So, yes, it's World Kidney Day, the 10th of March 2022, a Thursday, and I've been joined at the studio by a kidney biologist from Live More Healthcare. He's Dr. Richard Anane Apia. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Happy New Month. Amen. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, it's you. World Kidney Day, and as yes. I was talking to you backstage, you mentioned that it's quite unfortunate that we talk about it today and then we hear nothing again till the next year. Yes. Um, How do you feel about it as I, a kidney biologist? Yes, I, I feel sad about it mm. because um, looking at the numbers mm -hmm. that are gradually skyrocketing, mm. it's unfortunate. Um, we only talk about it once mm -hmm. in a period, and uh, later you hear about it in the following year. Mm. But meanwhile, most people mm -hmm. continue to struggle Just with struggle. the condition mm. and continue to suffer throughout mm. the year mm. with it. And it's unfortunate, mm. seriously, and um, I get sad about it. Mm. But we are doing the little we can okay. with your cooperation and right. the cooperation of other media right. houses. Um, we are hoping and trusting that the sensitization and education would improve mm, mm. as time goes on. Okay. So that uh, the numbers that are having the condition, mm. at least we can work to okay. bring the numbers down. Okay. Mm -hmm. How common is the kidney uh, failure um, in Ghana? Based on the last year's statistics mm -hmm. and the current statistics available, mm. I'm sure after today, new figures will come. New figures will come. Close to about 4 million Ghanaians have the condition, wow. kidney and it-related conditions mm. in this country. Mm. That means about 13 out of 100 persons in this country mm. are living with some form of kidney diseases. You go to our major hospitals and various dialysis units, mm. the figures are not encouraging. Mm. That's unfortunate. Uh, mm. It's huge. And the figure keeps going up. And uh, it's very worrying. It okay. puts you and I at risk. Right. Uh -huh. It right. doesn't negate anybody mm. and there's no respect of persons. Mm. So once we continue to update ourselves on knowledge, mm. especially relating to this condition, right. I'm sure we'll be able to secure ourselves so that you and I can be safe. So we are working and doing our best. Right, to right, that. right. So, Doc, tell us how special, how unique, how important the kidney is in the human body that one that uh, that an individual can function with even just one. See, because uh, God naturally gave us two. Yes. So, how special is it? How important is it that even one can function in an individual? Yes, you see, the kidney is a very special organ. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure God in his own wisdom, that's what he gave us to. Right. If you look at the kidney in terms of its function, mm -hmm. the dual nature of their work is said that one is able to compensate for the other, oh. even in the absence. Okay. Good. So the kidney are so special that they control virtually almost 70% of all internal organs, including memory. 70%? Yes, right. close to 70% of all mm. the internal organs. And the unfortunate thing is that when the kidney has a problem, mm. it doesn't show on it specifically. It mm. shows on other organs. Mm. And that is the missing link. Mm. When it comes to kidney and its related functions, three major things are lost in terms of dedication. And we need to update ourselves on that. Number one, the kidney controls most of the major internal organs. Mm. Apart from the major primary function of bringing out waste, it stimulates electropoietin, which is a hormone okay. responsible for red blood cells. Okay. It's also responsible for memory mm -hmm. and helps the, the brain 
to be able to function in terms of mm. memory and sleep. Mm. It controls your muscles, mm. controls the liver and the heart. Okay. As well as the lungs. Okay. In addition, it controls your intestines and how the large intestines are able to synthesize vitamin D out of the sun. Apart from that also, it's able to get rid of urea, metabolic waste, if they are not going out well into your system. They stack up in your blood and can even lower your functioning of a man manhood. Oh, yes. Can cause infertility. It can cause right. not, not necessarily infertility, but mm -hmm. impotence. You will not be able to function well in bed. As a man. Yes. Wow. And all these figures and all these numbers are huge. When a kidney has a problem, it doesn't actually show on the kidney. It shows another part. And the gap, the second thing most of as I'm missing is that there's a gap period between actual kidney problem mm -hmm. and the time you are actually diagnosed with the condition. Mm. If somebody would develop a kidney problem in let's say 2032, mm -hmm. the symptoms will start now. Mm. That's the missing link most of us don't know it. Mm. The third thing that we are also missing is that the period between the actual kidney problem and the actual diagnosis, once recognized, it can be reversed. Oh. That is what we are also missing. Mm. Because once we get that one also done, these three things, I'm sure the figures will come down. Mm. Mm. The figures will come down. Because you do all these things and you have to restructure how the kidney is working and it rule. Because the kidney actually first role is to get rid of waste out of the system. And this waste is produced by the muscles. Yeah. The muscles produce a waste called creatinine. The liver produces a waste called urea and other nitrogen wastes. Yeah. Bicarbonates come from the lungs and other minerals. Collectively, the kidney collects all of them, mm. mixes up with water, and brings them out as urine. Okay. That's the primary function of the kidneys. Mm. The second function that the kidney actually does mm. is that it produces a hormone called erythropoietin. Okay. And that is responsible for stimulating red blood cells. Okay. In addition to that, it produces a hormone called renin. Renin. Yes. Which is also responsible for controlling your blood pressure. Mm. So when blood pressure starts skyrocketing or starts moving higher, mm -hmm. you should be checking the kidney. The kidney. Once you start experiencing shortage of blood. Anemia. Anemia. Mm. You should be checking the kidney. Okay. Once you start having difficulties with sleep, mm. you should be checking the kidney. Mm. And once you start having um, a lot of body pains, you wake up in the morning and it looks like your villagers visited you last night. <laughs> they have beaten you up. Right. You should be checking the kidney. Wow. Because unfortunately, the muscles produce a waste. Mm -hmm. And that waste might be taken out by the kidney. If that is not done, they remain in the muscles and mm. start giving you body pains all along. Mm. Unfortunately, that is one of the reasons why a lot of people are destroying their kidneys with excessive exercise. I'm not saying exercise is bad, mm -hmm. but what I'm saying is that mm -hmm. if you want to do, do according to your strength, your strength. and gradually. Okay. Sudden intense exercises, I don't subscribe to it. Mm. For example, mm -hmm. you are there one day, mm -hmm. maybe association or church or anything mm -hmm. that you organize, oh, today we are going for a health work health or work. health talk or something. Okay. Then the organizer in his own wisdom, according to his strength, <laughs> determines the length, mm. which you know that you, can. you can't. But then, because of peer pressure. You need to conform. You conform and yeah. you know. Yeah. At that time, because the exercise is so sudden, mm -hmm. and that exercise is also above your strength, the muscles are going to overwork mm. and produce a lot of creatinine in the process. Mm. So at another day, the kidney will have to pick up those creatinine and get them out of the body. Mm. By then, because it is not used to that capacity of waste, Majority of the waste will still remain in the system, overburdening the kidney. 
And whilst mm -hmm. it's being overburdened, most of them still remain in their muzzles. You wake up the following morning, it's like you were beaten last night. Mm. So it will take time for that creatinine to go down. Mm -hmm. Whilst that is going on, you are overburdening the kidney mm. in the process. So I don't subscribe to sudden intense exercises. If you mm. will do exercise, I mean, see a fitness instructor or okay. someone, or average, you can do it according to your own strength, okay. gradually, frequently, and gradually. Okay, I, I get I get that doing it according to your own strength yes, aspect. Yes, yes. But what do you term as sudden exercise? Okay, when I say sudden, I mean okay. that, for example, mm -hmm. you have not been doing exercise for okay. the past two or three years. Let's okay. say one year. Okay. And one day, okay. you decide to do exercise. Or you <laughs> register at the gym. Mm -hmm. Of course, they took you some money. Yeah. So because of that, you want to break the machine that day. <laughs> you, you understand? Because they took you about 100 Ghana or 200 Ghana, mm -hmm. you say that today I'm going to do exercise. Okay. So you move from machine to machine, okay. machine to machine. Okay. The gym instructor will just be watching mm. you. He will just be watching you. He can't tell you to stop because he has taken your money mm -hmm. already. But he will just be watching mm -hmm. you. You only know that next week you will not come. You will call him and tell him that I'm not feeling well. <laughs> That is what I mean when I say sudden right, intense exercise. Right, right. If so you, once it's sudden, when you now hit the gym, it should be something, you know, little. Yes, little go by into little. The bigger go up. Exercise. So exactly. The stronger ones. Yes. Okay. okay. One unfortunate thing also about water. Water? We don't take much water. Mm. And that puts all of us at risk. Okay. The reason is that the kidney virtually works with water. The raw material with which the kidney works with is water. I mean, everybody has it. The work you do without mm. the cameras, mm -hmm. you, you can't do the work. Right. So water is the basic necessity for the kidney. Mm. When your body is lacking enough water for the kidney to work with, majority of the waste that will be collected will mm -hmm. still remain because mm. water is the means with which it takes to clear it out. Mm. Unfortunately, most people substitute water with uh, soft drinks. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there is even one that looks like water, mm -hmm. but it's not. Yeah, I don't want yeah, to I mention it. It, it has just the flavor. Yes. Even there. if you look at the bottle, they will tell you <laughs> the percentage of water in that okay. drink. And you think the percentage of water is not enough? It's not enough. Okay. It's not enough. Okay. But it, it just reduces your satiety and your test level. Mm -hmm. But it's not enough. Mm -hmm. So we don't substitute it with water. You see, if you get constipated, mm -hmm and you take a purgative, mm -hmm. the purgative draws water from the kidney mm -hmm. and other parts of the body, mm -hmm. concentrate it in the intestines okay. so that you have free bowels. Okay. That is the more reason why you should also check and not use a lot of purgatives. Mm -hmm. Because too much of the purgatives also goes a long way to destroy the kidney. Mm. Okay. Because it is drawing water from all the internal organs. That is also to say that you don't wait till you are constipated. And if you take any purgative, consult a physician or at least okay. a pharmacist. Okay. Who will recommend the right dosages mm. for you? We wouldn't advise self-medication. One other thing about water is that we, apart from the fact that we don't take much, even the little in us is always drawn away. Okay. Simply through air conditions. The air condition we are all sitting in. Mm -hmm. I mean, you go behind the air condition. Mm -hmm. You know that there's some water draining. Right. There's a lot of processes that goes on that breaks down that, that water. But one of the major reasons is that it absorbs moisture okay. from the enclave of where the air condition is. That's okay. is why after the air condition, you see the skin is dry. So in as much as we are not taking much, the little we have is also going out of our system. Out of us. Okay. All these contribute. Okay. One is we, we don't actually expose ourselves much to the sun. Because the kidney needs to convert the sun rays to vitamin D. Really? So that we can work with it. Inadequate exposure to the sun puts your kidneys at risk. I mean, there are people who move from office to car, car mm -hmm. to office, mm -hmm. office to car. <laughs> the sun is not shining on them that much. Mm. And it's unfortunate. We must intentionally expose ourselves to the sun. So there are a lot of vitamin D can be converted. When I say the sun, mm -hmm. I'm talking about the hot one. Mm. I'm not limit, limiting it to the early morning one. Oh, really? Yes. I was thinking that that is what you're talking oh, about. That, the, from the 8 a.m. to the 
you know, 10 a.m., that, that one gives the vitamin D. That science but is But then old. 12 noon, we are in a bus, no. I'm telling you, that science is old. Really? Yes. Wow. It's an old sun, science. So we should deliberately be under the scorching In, sun. Intentionally. Wow. But not always, because okay. in its SS will give you some other reactions yeah, and effects. Yeah, yeah, but at anything. least, you must get some exposure to the sun. Okay. You see, the early morning one is for those with lesser melanin. Okay. No, those of us who are fair, mm -hmm. we have less melanin on our skin. Mm. And because we have less melanin on our skin, we are unable to convert the high ultraviolet rays into vitamin D, okay. as much as the blacks would do. Yeah. So someone with a dark skin mm -hmm. can convert all to vitamin D in a short time because he has more, more. and thicker melanin. Melanin, okay. So for those who are fair, like the whites, mm -hmm. they can't stand the stand too much because right. they, are, they have lesser melanin. Right. That is when that science was developed. Okay. That science was developed for them. <laughs> and by extension, our people absorb it and begin to apply it in all angles. Mm. But if you expose yourself to the hot sun, in as much as, as too much of it can cause mm -hmm. other variations in your system, right. it's advisable you get it done right. so that you can get the kidney right. fully functioning. Right, right. Thank you so much. You've established a lot of points. I think okay. what you said, I can talk about it as the risk factors. Like okay. you mentioned, that when you have anemia, yes. you should check the, 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 the kidney. When you cannot sleep, you should check the kidney. When you have high blood pressure, you should check the kidney. So when you say that they... Add this one. When you have weaker memory, weaker you should memory. also check the kidney. Mm. What would you term as weaker memory? I mean, there are people who keep their phones in their pocket. And forget about it. Dementia. Only to come back to ask, start searching for it. Some even have it in their hand. Yes. But so you tell you, let's call the number. You call the number and the phone is ringing in his pocket. Oh. No. That's what I'm talking you about. You should check your kidney when you, yes. you, you experience that. Yes. When it's too much. I mean, once in a while. And one other thing we must also add is that the kidney function reduces, unfortunately, with increase in age. Mm. So when you are growing, the kidney function unfortunately drops because naturally. cellular yes cellular renaissance okay the cells naturally die especially above 40. okay so what happens is you will have to up your game mm -hmm. and frequency check it mm. and do things that will help the cell to naturally regenerate like stronger what? ones things like what water is one okay sleep is one okay because unfortunately most people are having issues with sleep, mm. and that yeah. is affecting their kidney. Mm. If you are not sleeping, you are putting your kidney at risk. Mm. Okay. So you should sleep well, okay. sleep better, okay. and sleep well, especially okay. at night. Okay. If you can't do much in the night, mm. compensate with it that of the afternoon one. Okay. Even though that's not the best, but at least mm. it will help in the process. Okay. Talking about the water, mm -hmm. so would you say that we should even take water when we don't feel thirsty? Okay. When your system or you are thirsty, your body is craving for water. Mm -hmm. And that tells you that the body needs water. That's right. when you are thirsty. Right. So you don't wait till it's like the month has ended and you're waiting for your employer to come and tell you, pay me before the employer pays you. You don't wait till that time. Yeah. So you have to be continuously be taking water, even when you are not tasty, but not, not, too, too, much. not too much. But you don't have to wait till you become too tasty mm. before you drink water. Okay. Okay. And the amount of water your body needs mm -hmm. is averagely eight ounces. But your some people have active systems more than others. For example, our friends who work in the construction industry, because of the nature of their work, mm -hmm. they consume more water. water. Right. So you can't compare that to someone who mm -hmm. does a lot of office work, mm -hmm. a lot of paper and mental mm -hmm. work so far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, I really get that aspect. So when, we, when your kidney starts to fail, mm -hmm. how do you know that it's failing? Okay. There is a, a yardstick and a measurement criteria that the laboratories will always show you. Average, um, there's a certain percentage which is called EGFR, okay. which uh, normally 
is 89 above. Okay. Because the kidneys are two, you can get up to even 120. But on the average, 89 above is better. It's called EGFR. So once it starts dropping, then you know that some of the cells in the kidney are dying. Okay. And that is where the problem is. Mm. And this process takes a very long time. Mm. Again, it will show you symptoms, but except that the symptoms are likely to be mistaken to be another disease. That is a very unfortunate issue. I mean, somebody gets a kidney disease today, and you find out that this patient has been attending hospital way back. Mm. And the same symptom that he started representing three or four years ago is the same symptom that he's presenting now. No. He's always giving blood tonic to compensate mm -hmm. for loss of blood. He's always giving blood pressure medication to compensate for the blood pressure that is rising. Okay. He's always giving sleeping pills mm. to compensate for his inability to sleep. He's always the practitioner have not checked his or her kidney. But the root of all this I'm discussing with you comes from the kidney. Because the kidney is like a control board of a car. Yeah. If the control board of a car has a problem, it will not show on the control board itself. Sometimes it will even show in the engine. Mm -hmm. If you don't get a good mechanic, he will ask you to change the engine, mm. only for the same problem to resurface. Right. You ask you to change light only for the same problem to resurface. Mm. So when it happens like that, you always put burden on the kidneys. So whilst you have overlooked that aspect, right. the damage continues. Mm -hmm. Until it gets to a stage that the waste accumulation has become so much, so much that they start showing on your limbs. In that case, dialysis will be necessary. And there are proper dialysis centers in this country, like the one I know, mm -hmm. that they do very, very well. Mm. Men's chrome is very, very good mm. at that. So the only sustainable means, when it gets to that terminal mm -hmm. stage, mm -hmm. is when to go through a lot of dialysis processes. Okay. Okay. But whilst that process is ongoing, a lot can be done in the middle to get the situation reversed. Reverse. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, so with, with these signs, um, let's talk about the causes. Is it because of our environment we live in? Is it because of our lifestyle changes? Is it because we are naturally growing? Like you mentioned that when you hit 40, then it's, the, the cells are kind of reducing. So what, what exactly causes the kidney to fail? One, overload and overwork. Overworking? Of the kidney. Okay. When the kidney is overworking too much. How is it overworking? Let what me give you one doing? example. Okay. One cup of coffee takes three days for the body to be able to work on it completely. Mm. In the process, the kidney will be overworking. Mm. That will destroy the kidney in five years' time. Right. Mm. So you see the rule of mm -hmm. your diet? Mm -hmm. Very important. Yeah. Apart from that, mm -hmm. inadequate sleep mm. makes the kidney overwork. Yeah. You really want to finish this task so exactly. you don't want to sleep. Exactly. So in the process, you'll be destroying the kidney. Mm -hmm. Especially those of our friends who work in the banks. It's unfortunate. Yeah. Some uh, medications, especially on prescribed painkillers, they put a lot of weight on the kidney. Mm. The kidney will be destroyed in the process. Mm. Unfortunately, blood pressure and sugar medications, if not well controlled, also destroy the kidney. Because when your blood pressure goes up, it destroys the kidney in two main ways. The first one is the force, which way the blood takes into the kidney. That is the force. Mm. That destroys the kidney. Yeah. The second one is the medications and its effects. Mm -hmm. So if you have been on blood pressure medication for a long time, be checking your kidney in the process. Oh. Because the blood pressure alone have two main forms in which it can go and destroy the kidney. I mean, your doctor must monitor you well. Mm -hmm. You must visit the facility, mm. do regular checks, okay. and see that everything is intact. Because once you avoid that and assume that, oh, I have to take this medicine for the um, rest of my life, so every day you mm. take, every day, then it's time for review, you don't go, okay. you, do, you, you do that, you might be destroying your kidney in the process. Mm. 
Even though the drug was prescribed. Even though the drug was prescribed. Injury. That is why practitioners always give instruction. Oh, when you take this medication mm -hmm. for maybe two weeks, mm -hmm. one month, come for review. Mm -hmm. Two weeks, one month. Some will just close their ear okay. to the matter. Okay. Instead of going for the review, you won't go. All those things destroy the kidney in the process. Mm. Then we have some special, some dyes that we have been using, spices, artificial spices. Mm. They have some funny, funny, nice names, very attractive. <laughs> I mean, when you see the ad, the ad of the, uh, mm -hmm. uh, on the TV, product, yeah. I mean, highly, highly special. Yeah, with a nice aroma. A nice well. aroma as well. Mm. They should be careful. But unfortunately, some of them destroy the cells of the kidney mm. instantly. Some oils do, because to the best of my knowledge, I don't know any vegetable that produce oil. <laughs> but there are vegetable oils. Mm. We should be checking that as well, mm. because the, the damage is too much. Mm. And the mess, the, the current figure that has skyrocketing, rocketing, is putting all of us at risk. Seriously, it's putting all of us at risk. And sometimes the news is not good. Yeah. The news is not good. Yeah. Sometimes you'll be hearing it from far, but this thing is very, very close to mm. us. Mm. Right, right. <laughs> so viewers, we are talking about kidney health and today actually the 10th of March has marked the World Kidney Day. Like Doc said earlier, it's quite unfortunate that we talk about it now and then we don't talk about it again till the next year. So you have, you have the chance. I want to open up the phone lines now. 0302 Call us whatever question you have about the kidney. He's mentioned some risk uh, factors like diabetes, like... Um, um, you know, you not being able to sleep, you not uh, taking in a lot of water, you having dry bladder, it's anemia, all these things exposes you to kidney failure. And some of the signs include, uh, some of the causes include you uh, overworking yourself. Like you mentioned that you can have a cup of coffee and then it takes about three days for it to, you know, digest well. So the kidney still overworks. You are overloading the kidney. You have a task at the office. You want to finish at all costs before you get home. Sudden exercises, exercises that are way more than your strength that you can't partake in, but you have to conform to some societal rules to partake in that exercise. All these things you should check because they expose you to kidney failure. So whatever question you have about your kidney, whatever signs you're seeing that could be kidney failure, you have the chance to call us and then Doc is going to answer your questions for you. Here's Dr. Richard. I'm Nani Ipia from Live More Healthcare. He's a kidney biologist. So whatever question you have about kidney health, it may be for you, it may be for your partner, it may be for your child, it may be for your mother, your brother, your friend. You can also send your messages coming through on WhatsApp. The number is right there on the screen. We're also active on our media platforms. On Facebook, it's HSTV Lab. You can head on there, you can share, you can like, you can follow. You can get onto the comment section and then send your messages, your contributions, your questions, very importantly, coming through and then Doc is going to answer them for you. On Instagram as well, it's HSTV Live. We're also active there. So I've been doing this discussion with Dr. Richard Annali Epia. He's from Live More Healthcare. They are into kidneys and he's a kidney biologist. Doctor, let's continue. So with kidney failure, does it start from a stage and then it grows gradually to a higher place? Do we have stages? Yeah, there are stages in terms of the damage. In terms of the damage. Actually, stage one is normally when the renal function, especially the EGFR, okay. have dropped from um, 89 to somewhere 60. Oh. That those, those ones are mild. So somewhere 16? 60. 60? Yes. Okay. Those ones are mild. Okay. So you got stage two from 60 coming to about 54. That is stage two kidney failure. All those stages, something can be done about it because the first stage have some percentage of the renal function that is lost, but not much. So let's take, for example, your renal function, EGFR is 54% mm. now. What it means that the remaining renal ability, because both kidneys have an average of about 400, uh, 4,000 nephrons each in them. Mm -hmm. So what's happening is that each one of, once the damage starts continuing, the percentage drops. Okay. It's supposed to be 89 above. Okay. Okay. So you are 54 EGFR. What it means is that you are almost half of the kidney function remaining. Remaining. About okay. half is gone. Okay. I think we have a first caller. Hello. Good morning. 
হ্যালো 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 কেন প্লিজ হিয়ার ইন হ্যালো 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 হাই গুড মর্নিং প্লিজ গো আহেড উইথ ইয়োর কোশ্চেন আই হ্যাভ সাম সব থিং ওকে আন্ডার মাই লেফট ব্রেস্ট আন্ডার ইয়োর লেফট ব্রেস্ট ওয়াট আর দ্য সিমটমস অফ কিডনি ওয়াট আই ফিল পেইন দে মোস্ট অফ টাইম এন্ড হোয়েন আই প্রেস উইথ মাই হ্যান্ড আই ফিল দ্য পেইন আন্ডার মাই লেফট ব্রেস্ট ওকে হাউ ওল্ড আর ইউ of kidney failure how old are you please i'll be 30 this year 30 yeah okay and have you been to any hospital to find out what is causing the pain in your left breast yet no okay okay all the same doc is going to talk about that thank you so much for calling she's she's 30 she's going to be 30 this year mm. so is is that a sign of kidney oh pain? no not 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 really not see really. once it's related to the breast, to the breast. i can presume that maybe she's breastfeeding okay. because we hear that sound by uh, that sound that but sound if okay. she's not breastfeeding it's advisable that she gets to the nearest uh, facility let the nurses midwives or the doctors examine her right. because that pain could mean a lot mm -hmm. you know it could just be around or it may be internal, internal. but it can only be physically be uh, examined mm -hmm. and proper diagnosis could be made okay. from there okay. but for now i can't say that it's related, that to the it's related to kidney okay okay that, that that's fair enough we, are, we were talking about the stages before we, yes. we, we spoke with what you. i was saying is that when you have 54 mm percent -hmm. it means you are within the range of state two okay when the percentage drops to somewhere 30 then you are in the main stage of stage three. Stage four is somewhere from 30 to about 10. That one is very critical. And when it gets to that stage, you need a good dialysis facility to help you out. Because the dialysis facility should be able to help you out. Because okay. dialysis means going to be the only means of the survival. Means of survival. Yes. Wow, okay. Hello, good morning, Ebenezer. Good morning. Hi, please go ahead with your question. Again. Please go ahead with your question. Yeah, I'm having this pain at my upper stomach. Okay. And then I took a mosquito club, thousand. Okay. I confronted a pharmacist okay. and he told me that it's a mosquito club. Okay. So that was very much of me. The pain went, but recently, I think last two weeks, I started having that same pain. And I went to the hospital. Um, they gave me medicine. But I still have that pain, especially at night. So the doctor suggested that I go and sleep, go for scan. Okay. When I went for the scan, the doctor said everything is normal, including my kidney and my bladder is normal. But she says there is pus on my liver. And I want to know if that is also. Okay. Okay. And if there is any suggestion of how we can show that, right? I've been giving drugs. So, I, I, are you still taking that moxiclav? No, no, no. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for calling. Talk. Yes. Um. Um. His response um mm -hmm. to the question you just asked mm -hmm. that uh, he has stopped taking that moxiclav, moxiclav for some yeah. time. You see. Once some pains come, mm -hmm. they can come from the liver, as he said, okay. the doctor said. Okay. But the liver is also related to the kidney. To the kidney. Scan take pictures. Mm -hmm. Structurally, it could be fine. Mm. But internally, oh. something could be wrong. After the scan? After the scan. The scan is a picture. But I thought you, you specialists are supposed to see yes. what is happening in there. Yes, that is why we work along with laboratory reports. Oh. Because the laboratory reports look at what is inside inside the blood and the picture of it so the two work hand in hand so when you take the scan ideally if everything is normal with the scan then you should go further while the patient is still complaining mm. you should go further to do some lab work okay. which will go internal i mean you can see somebody well dressed very fine but internally something is wrong oh, yeah. exactly mm. good so the scan takes a picture 
Mm. And the picture could be fine. Okay. There are no protrudings, there are no mm. anything that would be fine. Mm. But internally, There's something else could be okay. there. Okay, let's go talk to Theo Fellows. Good morning, Theo. Good morning. Hi, please go ahead. Hello. Hi, please go ahead. Okay, please, uh, my question is, uh, for some time I've been having uh, waist pain and also back pain. Okay. I've been trying treating me sometimes. I go to the pharmacy for drugs. But for some time now, I have stopped uh, taking any drug because uh, I, I, I've i been thinking it, it will cause uh, some other problems. Mm. I want to know if that also relates to a kidney problem. Okay. Theo, yeah. Theo, how old are you, please? Please, uh, I am 58. Okay, so you have kids? Uh, please come again. You have kids? I can't hear you. Well, Do you have children? Yes, please. Okay, okay, okay. Doc, yes, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. Thank you so much for calling. Doc. Yes, I get his point. Mm -hmm. What the back pains actually feel, you know, looking at the position of the kidney, it's just a little above our waistline, slightly between our ribs. And when some of, sometimes it gets into a problem, one of the things you could experience is a pain. Okay. If you have gotten a pain there, maybe it might be because of the work you do, so okay. you sit a lot. Okay. So that can even result in a pain above the waist. Mm. That is fine. But if you have been taking any painkiller, at least you should be able to do with the pain if it is only the work that you do. However, if it's consistent, it's better we do a proper assessment, assessment okay. to see where the pain is coming from, which could be coming from either the genital areas, the prostate, per his age, which could also be coming from the kidney. Because research, current research shows that the prostate function is related to the kidney. Mm. So you should be able to check out the two. Okay. So I would advise that, say you consult the nearest facility and request for a test to be done on the kidneys and the prostates to see if something can be identified from there. Mm. But had it not be, if not that, it will be difficult for us to be able to pinpoint exactly what is wrong. Because where you are complaining, don't take one thing, uh, I mean, uh, we always seek for a second opinion. Yeah. That is one thing that we Ghanaians we are not good at. <laughs> we always seek, we have to seek second opinions. Mm. So I think you should go to the nearest facility and request for checks on the prostate and the kidney. Okay. That could arrest the issue at hand now. Mm. Mm. Okay. You, you were talking about the stages. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when you get to stage three, mm -hmm. the renal function okay. have dropped. Okay. Probably 30% and below. Mm. Almost 70% of the renal function is gone. Mm. The cells are dead. But once there are some level of cells, it means the rest can be capable of working out. Dialysis will be helpful. Okay. Good okay. nutrition is also helpful. Okay. And helping prolonging the life. The life. Yes, and yes. a good dialysis for that matter okay. as we'll, well. We'll come to the dialysis. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hi, please go ahead. Please, my name is Charity and I'm calling from Ashama. Okay. When okay. I was pregnant, okay. my the doctor told me that my child Your what? was having kidney. My baby was having kidney problems. Okay. My baby, the baby in my room. Okay. Has kidney problems. So they said after the they are going to do surgery for her. Is it possible for a child in the womb to get kidney disease? Okay, okay. Thank you so much for asking and for calling. Doc. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. It's possible. Mm. During the process of baby formation, a lot of things go on. All the internal organs get formed. So the nutrients that is in the mother's meal, mm -hmm. some are selected for the formation of all the internal organs in the baby. However, if something goes wrong in terms of nutritional deficiency, as the midwives will always advise, eat well. Good. If something goes wrong at that angle, mm. what happens is that some specific nutrients that the body will require for the formation of the kidney in the baby 
will be lacking and that the kidney could not be formed properly whilst the baby is in the womb. Mm. So it's possible a scan can reveal it. Can reveal. Yes, a scan can reveal it, but not in its entirety. Mm. But in other words, the liver of the baby in the womb, as well as the heart, what we call whole in heart, mm -hmm. all these things as a result of some nutritional deficiencies okay. that did not lead to the process of proper formation of the baby. Okay. So it's possible. It's possible. So can, can that also be passed on from mother to child? Is it hereditary? Can hereditary. Yes, there are some genes that control the formation of babies. So if um, you have some genes that is uh, probably going to create problem for you in that angle, then it is possible to have it done. Another way that is possible is also that nutritional deficiency, because the genes will not show unless they get a means of showing. I mean, secondly, it's called a total genotype and phenotype. <laughs> you could have genes for uh, dark skin, mm -hmm. but if the environment don't support it, it won't show. Yeah, but sure. mm. You understand? Good. So the environmental factor also goes in. Okay. But whatever means that it is, it's good it has been detected early, mm. and it's good they are going to work on it for her. Mm. But that notwithstanding, the mother should also get her nutritional checkups and metabolic profiling mm. well examined, mm. as well as her kidney itself also well examined. Okay. You shouldn't take that. It's only for the baby. Mm. He should also be at should risk. Also be, she could also be at risk. So yes, for a, new, a baby in the womb, what mm. can be done? A baby with kidney oh, problem? Uh, honestly, at that stage, surgery is the best solution. For, wow. wow. Surgery is the best solution. Just like it's done in most of the internal organs, whole in heart, um, other liver disorders for units as babies, surgery is the best solution. So they work it out and once the, the, the patient is a baby or a pediatric, the process is very helpful because when it does that, she's able to heal faster and grow along with it. So at that stage, surgery is better. better. And proper okay. breastfeeding okay. is important. The baby is still in the womb. Bowl. She's not yet giving yes, birth. But, yes, but she will definitely okay. you give birth. Okay. After the surgery, okay. you should also do proper breastfeeding. Proper breastfeeding. Okay, let's go back to Ashaman again. Hello, good morning, Gladys. Good morning. Please go ahead. Okay, my partner has, my partner has an abdominal pain at his left side. Okay. So he was diagnosed on kidney stone. Later, he went for scan and he said he found hypothesis. I want to ask Doc that, like, how, how that one should be. You want to ask Doc how that will be? Yes. Hydrolyprosis of the right kidney. I don't know. Okay. You. Maybe she wants to find out what, what brought about that because she said this That's can't... That's dangerous. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, Gladys, for calling. Okay. All right. Um, stones normally, the second stage of the um, stone is probably the hydronephrosis. Mm -hmm. So let me start with the stones. Mm. You know, we take in foods that contain minerals, yeah. calcium, potassium, phosphorus, right. and all of them are powdered like solid, so small, small mm -hmm. powdered ones, mm -hmm. supposed to be used by the bones, mm -hmm. for strong bones. Mm -hmm. Okay. When carbonated compounds from carbonated drinks, you know, when you open any soft drink, you see that gas that comes out, uh, exactly. I mean, you're a customer in the business. <laughs> you know the deal. <laughs> hey, that gas goes to solidify the powdered substance mm. to form a solid mass and that form the stone. So it's like pouring super glue in a dust. It collects them okay. together and they form a stone. Okay. So it takes those minerals, forms a stone, circulates in the blood, and when they get to the kidney, they can't come back, they lock it. Hmm. Hmm. Again, I told you the kidney work with water. Right. So because of that blockage caused by the stone, the water entering the kidney will not be able to drain because there's a blockage. And that will lead to the swelling of the kidney, and that is what is called the hydronephrosis. Hydro means water. Mm -hmm. Nephrosis has to do with the kidney. Mm -hmm. So that the stone is actually the one that is blocking the water from the system. So should we stop taking those carbonated drinks and 
take water or we should still take the carbonated and still take water so that you can let it okay you are putting me in a very tight corner mm -hmm. but the long and short of it all okay. is if you don't want to develop any problem do what i've said the right one consume more water avoid some of the things that can give you problems which i've highlighted right but one more thing that is also useful that we must also do is that you must check and continuously check the diet you eat. But what will help you is that for once in a week, let's say once in every two weeks, do a lot of juice fasting mm. to clear the system. If you have been a victim of the drinks you mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. if you are a regular consumer of it, mm -hmm. you have to clear the system. So morning to evening, you are not going to eat, but you consume water and a lot of food juice. Food not juice. the ones that is processed. Right. I mean, something like watermelon, mm -hmm. um, something like uh, oranges. You consume them throughout the week, mm. throughout the day, okay. and take some heavy meal in the evening. That would be appropriate. But that will clear the system of a lot of the filth. If you have been, you, it will clear uh, a lot of the things that uh, will cause problems for you in future. But the longer short of it all is all that the soft drinks, the alcohols, mm. the coffees, mm -hmm. all of them mm. should not be taken in high okay. quantities. But okay. once in a while, maybe you take one. But if you make it a regular habit, it can give you a problem in future. Okay, right, okay. So let's, let's speed up and go to the kidney transplant. So anybody with kidney failure would have to go in for a transplant? Yeah, you see, what happens is um, when you your kidney gets to a stage okay. which is less than 10% in function, mm. meaning that it's functioning less than that. Mm. Dialysis is useful. Okay. That will sustain your life. Tell us about the dialysis process. Okay. The dialysis process is a process that takes away the filth okay. out of your body. Mm. So the toxic substances that have accumulated in your system, the machine for once or twice in a week, mm. You go into the machine, your blood goes into the machine, and the machine takes out the filth, the filth. so that the system can now be free. Mm. You have a lot of them. So that, that's the simply, basically, yeah. of the dialysis. Dial 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 it's expensive. Why is that? Uh, it's expensive because once the, the, the machines mm. are very costly. Mm. The specialists and the technicians that work on it is also very costly. And there are, one, there are some that are very, very good. That if you go, it's going to help you to do that work. And so the cost is actually, and the government is not supporting that much. So most of it is in the private hands. Mm. And the, the cost of operation, the equipment, the, the reagent, the staff, very, very expensive. And that's why I will always plead that um, the government should be able to come in and assist in the process because the numbers are going high and... Some of the machines, even when you buy it, you can't use air to ship it. You have to fly it. And you know what that means. It comes with a lot of things. That is why we are always advocating that most of us don't get there. At least for once in every six months. If you are below uh, 40, once in a year you can check your kidneys and other associated organs, the liver and other ones. But if you are above 40, maybe once in every six months, you go and check your kidneys, your prostate, and all other ones that would be very useful so if that continues for a while some will report very very late at the facility and by the time you know it is just at the end stage in that case a transplant will be required and uh, you will need somebody who will be willing to donate to you one of his kidneys so that you can survive on the other one so basically that's how it is and um, it's unfortunate the situation is this like this that's why we are always advocating that we should be mindful of the things we consume. We should be mindful of our lifestyle and we should be checking regularly because the regular checks will reveal it. And once it is detected early, it can easily be worked on so that you can have a free life so you can live better. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So is anyone or like someone with kidney failure mm -hmm. or is everybody a candidate for a kidney transplant? Like everybody with kidney failure, with kidney candidate failure, for... Yes. Or do you have things that you check and then you realize that this person can't have a kidney transplant? When the transplant is going to be done, okay. 
there are certain criteria that are checked. That are checked. One, if the survival rate is high, the one who is giving you the kidney, how, if you are able to take the kidney, how long are you going to keep it? And it's going to help you to live for a very long time. So various tests are done. Based on the tests, practitioners will always differentiate between those who will benefit from it and those who will not. But ideally, everybody should be able to benefit from it, except those who report very, very late. Some report very, mm -hmm. very late, say that mm -hmm. little, uh, they can't do much can't do to have the person. Okay. Okay. But okay. if you are able to check all the time, um, I mean, you will get it detected early mm -hmm. and you can be a candidate for mm -hmm. a transplant. Okay. That means if you get a donor early, getting a mm -hmm. donor too is not easy. It's not I easy. Mean, Convincing someone, give me one of your kidneys. So anybody at all's uh, kidney can fit in someone else's No, 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 no. We have you to do some checks. We do compatibility, okay. we do blood, we do transmitted diseases, so many other tests. So the kidneys are, are different? Is that what you're saying? That the kidneys... That is why you need yeah, to yeah, check yeah. compatibility. The kidney function is different. It's not all kidneys that are compatible to another. No, okay. Even twins. Mm. Sometimes you can't give the first to the last. Even with twins, because of the individual and biological differences, mm. so many checks need to be done. Okay. And uh, apart from that, the donor mental status also needs to be checked <laughs> to make sure that he's not taking a decision out of Hate some, or something. Uh, yes. Okay. Apart from that, um, sometimes close relatives of the donor will also have to endorse the process. I mean, if you want to give some to your husband, your close relative in relating to your family, father or mother, must agree and subscribe to that agenda. If they don't, it will make the situation very complicated. So apart from biological compatibility and mental status assessment, close relative must also agree. And there is one case where a lady wants to give to the husband, but the uncle said no. And the person could not continue. Hmm. The uncle said no. All indicators show that he can donate. The hard man can live on it. But the uncle who took care of the lady when the lady was in school wow. said no. But can you function properly with one, just like uh, someone with a tooth? In case where there is end stage renal failure, it is the two that is filled, not one. Mm. So when you talk of their percentage in function, it is the two of them. That is, um, in fact, when the transplant is done, they don't remove the two damaged kidneys. They only add a stronger one to increase the percentage function. Mm. So a donor gets three. The recipient will receive three. Yes, the, 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 the recipient will receive three. Wow. But the donor has gets, one. Has one. Hey. <laughs> and that also puts the donor at some risk in some way. Because you are left with only one. And this person has three. Yes, and extra care needs to be taken. Because in future, if you also develop a problem, you need to look for your chairman's. No, 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 it's not reversible. You can't do it like that. You can't oh, go really? into the kidney twice. You can't go into the kidney twice. It's just a one time something. Yes, one time something. Mm. So once you give to your chairman, that's it. You can't wow. go get back for it. Even if he misbehaves or starts insulting you or doing anything that is evil, mm. you can't go for it. Mm. Mm. I see. That's what why we are playing that we, we, we all don't get there. Yeah. We all right. don't get, right. get there. Right. Because when you get there, the situation becomes very messy and complicated. Okay. Okay. The, uh, okay. A lot of things need to be assessed in terms of the donors, mental status, family relations, biological indicators. It's very complicated. Okay. So do the two kidneys mm -hmm. fail at a go, or one fails and then the other also fails? OK. They don't fail at once. OK. And the period between the actual failure process is probably about 15 years. Mm. So whilst the other's function is going down, the other will be compensating for him. So it's like that. One will be compensating for the other, compensating for the other. To the level that both of them are now entirely weak. So take for example, two people are supposed to do a work, one does not come to work, 
and the other one continues to cover up. Cover it gets to a stage it can no more cover up because the work has been too much. So the two of them all break down. Mm. That's how the kidney works. Okay. That's why God in his own wisdom gave us two. Gave us two. Okay. 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 Thank you so much, Doc. Um my last question. Um so how do we maintain a healthy kidney? Okay. Genuinely. Run us through the process. Things that we can do, changes our lifestyle. Uh, habits that we can adopt to, you know, to maintain a healthy kidney? Three things mm. you must not always forget. Three. Number one, your weight. Your weight? Yes. Okay. Very, very important. Because your weight actually, once you begin to put on heavy weight, you're putting pressure on the organs. And remember, the organs are not suspended. They are all suspended in the intestines. There's no cushion that save them, especially those who start developing, uh, they say it is pot belly. Mm -hmm. That mm. is a, a sick of fruit, mm. uh, the rich people. Mm. Uh -huh, yeah. You start developing that, you should be checking. Mm. The ladies too, your weight, very, very okay. important. Okay. You need to maintain a healthy weight okay. for a healthy kidney. Okay. Number two is water. Don't joke with water. Don't joke with water. It's very, very important. You shouldn't wait before you're thirsty. You no, 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 no. Don't wait till you are thirsty okay. for, because that. If you must exercise, you must do it with caution and that supervision. Mm. Very, very important. Again, watermelon is good. Hmm. You use it to okay. clean your kidneys. But yes. if you can't take the raw one, you can do the juice, yes, right? Yes, you can do the juice. Okay. Not the, uh, the refined juice. Not the refined the one. The raw one. Just take it, cut it, blend it, and take it. With the seeds? With the seeds. Chew it will, the seeds. Yes, and it will swallow. help you. It will help you to hmm. clear your kidneys. When you talk of the, about the kidney, there is a lot that needs to be said. Right. We can't exhaust them, all yeah. of them in one issue. Yeah. But these are the, at least, these three W's, three W's. you must. So and the if you wait, the water and, and the, the watermelon. watermelon. These three okay. W's, you must keep it at heart. Okay. Write it next yeah. to your Bible. You read Bible small, <laughs> then you read that one too. Very important. Because okay. those ones will help you to get the system done. Okay. <laughs> and okay. if you have any chronic condition like hypertension or diabetes, Please visit your doctor frequently. Mm. Okay. Don't take his word for fana. Okay. Always try to do cross check. Okay. Six okay. second opinion. Mm. Very useful. Mm. Okay. Because the kidneys are not to be joked with. Okay. Okay. A message came via WhatsApp. It says that if a dead person's kidney can be taken, can a dead person's kidney be taken and stored for future use? A dead person who okay. has, you know, very strong productive kidneys, okay. can it be taken out? Elsewhere in Akosibo Nukrum, fallen land. Is possible. The possibility is that the person could be dying from accident. Immediately the accident happens, the ambulance is there. Quickly they can harvest most of the internal organs for storage. Oh, so it means you can't take it when the person is dead? Completely. When it's dead, blood flow is reduced, mm. limited, and the cells are gone. Okay. Perhaps you might not even know what killed the person. So it can be done when it is through an accident and it is yeah. sudden, where the ambulance is very fast. You understand? That they can work on those things. But if it, it died by different means, let's say malaria, typhoid, sometimes even a kidney failure is the one that killed the person. How are you going to have something that killed someone? Hmm. You understand? Now what if you take it out and the person doesn't die? Like the accident scene? It's oh, they, I mean, that's why there are paramedics in the ambulance. Mm. That's why paramedics, they, they do a lot of checks. Mm. And you see, when they, in most cases, before somebody heart fails completely, mm -hmm. it's actually the kidney that failed to supply the heart with the right running. Mm. Okay. So depending on what killed the person, they are able to do that. And the arrival of the ambulance too. Not in this country where you call the ambulance, they say we are in traffic. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that for sure, but right. I've heard that story before. Some of the ambulance guys, the first amendment. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you understand. So, yes, it's possible, mm -hmm. except that um, paramedics and professionals will examine exactly the circumstances under which and see the strength of the kidney mm. they are harvesting okay. before okay. they do that. Okay. But not entirely the, if the person okay. is too old. They won't do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lastly, let's talk about the extra care for the donor. He or she also has to go through the W, the three Ws. Yes. The same thing. Yes. Or you need extra. The donor. The donor. Would you, you have, need extra? You have donated already. Yes. Remaining one. Yes. Okay. 
what, what, what are some of the things the person has to do? What are some of the foods the person has to eat? Or the person has to do just like we that we haven't donated yet, the three W's? Okay. Apart from mm -hmm. these three yeah. W's, yeah. the one who are donated already mm -hmm. needs to do extra thing. One of the extras is the sleep. Sleep? Yes. You might begin to relax more than you used to. Okay. Hmm. So that the kidney will become stronger. Because now you are working it one. You are working with one spare tie. So you have to be very, very careful. Two, the diets that you are supposed to eat. If you know that you are going to eat and you are not going to use the food to do or to work with during the night, you don't do it. I'm not saying don't eat at night. That's mm -hmm. not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that what you eat, the body must utilize it. So if you know you have something to do that night, for example, construction workers, for example, those who work throughout the night, if they are going to work throughout the night or tomorrow, they can eat around 8 or 9. That mm. is, they know they are going to exhaust the energy during the period. If you know you are going to sleep, please, don't eat any meal. Okay. Uh -huh. That is one of the extras that must be done. Another extra that must be done is that you don't wait till you are thirsty. The water issue, I've mentioned it. You don't wait till you are, like, you are too tired. You don't get too tired on a job. So if you are doing something and you feel a little stress, you know that there is a little stress on you, you have to relax. Mm. Because you don't want to overburden mm. the internal organs. Okay. It's not necessary. Because if you okay. do that, it's going to give you a lot of trouble okay. to you in future. Okay, okay. I don't know if I'm going to put you in a tight corner, but looking at the extra care a donor would need, mm -hmm. it looks like the person is also a little bit at risk. Yes. So as a, as a kidney biologist, would mm -hmm. you advise that people donate kidneys? You are very smart, too. <laughs> but you see, um, it depends on the circumstance. Sometimes the recipient is in a very tight situation. It's very critical. Mm -hmm. And um, that is the only way to save the person. In that case, I will endorse it. But if there is a narrow way out where the person's system can be regenerated and gain an, another strength, I think extra consultation, second mm -hmm. opinion might be sought before that process is commenced. But when it gets to that stage, mm -hmm. it's an emotional stage and... Um, I think a lot of consultation needs to be done before a decision can be taken. Okay, okay. I hope I didn't put you in a tight corner. <laughs> you did, but I was also smart. You <laughs> really well. I mean, that's a very fair, uh, you know, uh, answer to that. Uh, yes. Except that there is another way out we can yes. explore. There's yes, another there's option. another way. Another option. We could explore that. But once there is no way out, it's an unconscious situation and we yes. need to save a life. Yes. I mean, you would endorse that someone can to okay. write. Thank you so much. I really learned a lot personally uh, with kidney health. I'm so grateful and hoping that we'll have you some other time. Oh, no problem. Right, yeah. So I just ended my discussion uh, on kidney health uh, with a, a kidney biologist. He's from Liverpool. More Healthcare. Here's Dr. Richard Anani Apia. Dr. Richard Anani Apia from Live More Healthcare. He's a kidney biologist, and we just ended our discussion on kidney health today, World Kidney Day. So, a quick one from HSTV. It says that it's don't call me, don't call me time. So, it's time to take an advantage of our amazing rates for business promotion on TV. It's HSTV's Don't Call Me Time. It's an advantage for you to take uh, our amazing uh, advertising rates for business promotion on TV. So HSTV, we are welcoming you to promote your business on our channel. So be it a hairdressing saloon, be it a barbering shop, be it a tailoring shop, a clinic, a hospital, a gym, an organization, a foundation, or any product or any other service that you are offering, we shall send our crew to do a documentary on your business and show it on our channel three times a day, three times a week for a peanut. Exactly. So all you need to do is to talk to us on 054-6833-724 or 024-03. 00507. I'll don't take the numbers again. It's 054 
or 024-0300507. Or you can send us an email on hstvsales at gmail.com or hstvlivemarketing at gmail.com. So it's hstvsales at gmail.com or hstvlivemarketing marketing at gmail.com so whatever service you're offering or whatever product you're selling out there take advantage of our amazing advertising rate and come on board so our queue will come out to your uh, facility or your location or wherever it is so we can have a documentary taken and then we can showcase on tv for everybody to see to purchase your service or your product so this is how we wrap up with stay alive with me I'm Mount Monica for today and I'm going to take a quick turn and then when I come back, of course, thank you all to our callers as well. So I'm going to take a quick turn and then when I come back, Kweku Frimpong, Kofi Nyame, Diego Pakabeni will be on with InfoCos. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back.